Hello everybody! In this video, we will continue to examine topic 1.1, measurements in physics, and in particular, we will continue to unpack the idea of significant figures or significant digits. All right, uh, so we've gone through some of the basic rules of using significant figures and taken a look at sort of the straightforward examples here, or at least more straightforward examples of significant figures. Um, but I want to save a whole separate video for discussing some of the trickiest cases uh, and uh, discussing sort of um, some of the real value in significant figures. So take a look at this number here, 200. Now, how many significant digits does this number have? The problem is that it's ambiguous, and we can conventionally define it to be 3 or 1. Those are sort of the two reasonable answers here. But as it turns out, even if we do that by convention, there's not universal agreement. And as a result, it's ambiguous. It's just straight up ambiguous. If you represent this number, I don't know how many significant digits or significant figures uh, that number has. And just fair warning, in a lot of materials that you will deal with in this class, you will see numbers like 200 or 50 uh, or 3,000 uh, that are represented that way that are ambiguous as to how many significant figures they have. Okay, And that's just something we got to deal with. But we can represent this same value to a precise number of significant figures. It is possible to make it not ambiguous. How do you do it? You use scientific notation. And this is where scientific notation uh, has some of its real true uh, value. Okay, So how would you represent this number to one significant figure? Okay, How would you represent it to one significant figure? Well, you would do so by taking this digit right here and multiplying by 10 to the 2. Um, so 2 times 10 to the 2 has very clear, uh, very clearly, only one significant figure or one significant digit. For three significant digits, you would represent that number as 2.00 times 10 to the 2 for three significant figures. These are not ambiguous, right? By representing it in scientific notation, you take away the ambiguity about how many significant figures you mean. Moreover, you can even represent uh, it to two significant figures, which is not one of the options in reading this number at all. So let's say you wanted to represent this number to two significant figures. You would just make that 2.0 times 10 to the 2 sig figs. And why would this matter? Well, let's say, for example, that in a measurement, you know for sure this is a zero but you've got a pretty significant uncertainty on that digit, right? This could be a 3, it could be a 9, so, so that this would be like 199, all right? And you're just not sure about this one, right? Well, how would you represent that value in your scientific data? You would have to represent it like this, to two significant figures. Uh, that means... If you really want to be precise about the number of significant figures, sometimes you're going to end up doing some things that seem a little silly and uh, make it a little bit more difficult to communicate. And so we'll talk about that trade-off in a second. So for example, uh, let's say I wanted you to represent the number 7 to two significant digits. What would you do? Well, if I wanted to represent 7 to two significant digits, I might write 7.0. Uh, to two significant digits. Um, if I wanted to put it in scientific notation, I might even write it as 7.0 times 10 to the 0. This is not wrong. This is probably overkill. But this is an unambiguous about how many significant digits there is. Maybe a better example would have been, I probably should have used something like 50. So let's say... Uh, I wanted to represent that number to two significant digits unambiguously. How could I do that? Well, I might write it as 5.0 times 10 to the 1. Okay? Uh, this seems weird. Okay? Uh, and I will say, it's not always the best choice if you're trying to communicate an idea. Right? Like, people know what this is instinctively. They don't know what that is instinctively. They've got to think about it for a second. Um, but this is unambiguous. 
And so I would encourage you to use that form in writing your answers when you can. All right, so one more tricky example here. Uh, and we're going to use a physical value. All right, let's say I have this physical value here, the speed of light, 299,792,458 meters per second. Okay, um, so that's the speed of light uh, to our best uh, knowledge. Actually, it's defined to be exactly this. This is how we define the meter, but that's a topic for another conversation. Now, how could I represent this to different numbers of significant figures? So I'm going to represent the speed of light to different numbers of significant figures. Okay, uh, first is all of them, all that we know, uh, and in fact, all that are given. Uh, this number is 2.9979245.8 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. That has nine sig figs. Uh, most of the time, we're not going to use this number to nine significant figures. There's no reason to be that precise. Uh, we'll usually um, shorten it. So let's say you wanted four sig figs. To four significant figures, this number is 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. That's four sig figs. What about three sig figs? Well, now you've got to be a little bit careful because when you round, right, and that seven rounded up to eight, this eight is going to sort of bump up that nine. So just to remember our rules on rounding here, if we round it to one more digit and represent this number to three significant figures, this will become 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. To two sig figs, it's 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And to one sig fig, it's three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. This is a little bit subtle. Uh, it means that when in representing this speed, um, it's actually kind of nice because you put the same number in your calculator regardless of whether you're using three, two, or one significant figures. So that's kind of convenient. Uh, but here's the thing that really bothers students, and so I'm going to emphasize this. These are the same value represented to different numbers of significant figures even though this is a 3 and this is a 2. That is, this number and this number are the same value and the same quantity represented in a different way. It's just about the appearance of the number. The number is not diff. Well, i got to be careful about number. The value is not different. The number is different. The number is different, clearly so. This is a 2, this is a 3. But the value is not different. The same physical quantity and the same value for the physical quantity is simply represented to a different number of significant digits. This is the same physical value as this, represented to different numbers of significant figures. That sometimes takes a while to sink in.